What are we doing? Um, yeah, what's up? Welcome back. Another episode of You know what I'm Saying with your boy, Michael Turner. And uh, I found a, a straggling Asian man in my neighborhood, and I was like, dude, what's up? Are you good? I just wanted to see other Asian people um, because of w- where I live. Yeah. In Palms, West L.A. Yeah. Um, what are your cross streets again? What's your exact address? Overland, b- my <laughs> social <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, dude, dude I, I was surprised how many Asian people are. Around. I saw like all eight. You're the first white that I in saw this neighborhood. in this neighborhood. It's a lot of, uh, it is this this apartment complex is kind of mixed, but like the one to the right of me is almost all Asian people. I don't know what it is because we're Koreatown adjacent. Oh, okay. So we're kind of on the, you know, kind of where we're at as part of the town. I, I, honestly, I just followed the GPS. So Koreatown's right there. Okay, perfect. Or yeah. actually, it doesn't matter where I'm pointing, but it's like next uh, next to where I'm at. So it starts like uh, on the other side of Crenshaw. Okay. Shout out to Crenshaw. And then if you go too long down Crenshaw, you're going to see more black people. You're going to see some blacks. You're not going to see a lot of me. Can I see? Can I say blacks? <laughs> yes, you can say on my podcast. Okay. Come on, <laughs> I'd be offended if you didn't. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, but hey, we're here with uh, my buddy Jason Chaney. Hey, um, man. one of my favorite comics to watch, uh, and I don't say that about everybody that I come on on the pod. But um, also, there's only been a couple of couple of honkies so far on the pod. So you're my first uh, non-white, yeah, which is big for the people. How long you been Asian? Uh, I've been uh, since 2013. How's that going? Um, it's been good, you know. Before I was identifying as a white. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, you know, to get in with the people. 100. percent You know, and uh, I actually think your last name is you trying to trick us. I am. I am. Because you heard like Cheney. you you added a Y to a very Asian last name. Very Asian last name. Chen. I'm like, this is an Asian man. Yeah, but you don't want them. To, you don't want to give all the the cards away. Yeah. Off top. Right. You want them to keep them guessing. Yes. You know? Yeah. So He's like, oh, he could be related to Dick Cheney. Dick could be Cheney. anybody. Yeah. So I just uh, I just feel like maybe if you keep them guessing and then when they see me, it's kind of like a surprise. <laughs> yes. And who doesn't like surprises? <laughs> people. Honestly, I do know some people that don't, but most people do like surprises. Who I would doesn't say like 90, surprises? Tell, tell, me, tell me your last person that you know that was you gave them a surprise and they're like, you know what? I don't you don't know people that hate like surprise parties? Okay, okay, I can see that, but well, that's I feel a very like, specific form of surprise. Though. Right, but deep down they like it. It's just they they don't like the execution of surprise parties. Fair, that you is think fair. so? Yeah, because they For actually most. didn't want to hang out with that many people. That many, and yeah. also surprise parties are weird because somebody else decided who your friends were for that. I know. I actually don't like the idea of that. I don't trust yeah. anybody to decide my guest list. Because then you're fucking up the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to celebrate with the people that I like, but then you invite this guy, and it's like, I don't like this guy. I've been invited to surprise parties in it by, like, the girlfriend. Yeah. And I'm like, I wouldn't have invited him to mine. That's what I'm saying. I don't think you should be inviting me to yeah, his. Yeah, why would you invite somebody that I don't want to be inviting? Right. It's like, you've ever had soup, and then... um in the soup, yeah, there was like, you know, like a cockroach. <laughs> I'm not, I've not had that, okay. but I didn't grow up like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was so sounds like it was tougher for you. It was, it was tough because <laughs> yeah. if you see a cockroach in in the soup, then That's you go, I wouldn't have put the cockroach in the soup. No, but then you purposely put the thing in the soup. Yeah, right. And it's like, okay, I could eat the soup around it, but but I still see the cockroach. And it's also been swimming in this liquid. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and it might have peed in the pool. It might have peed in the pool. <laughs> it could have peed in the pool, this cockroach. So it's like, it's fucking up the whole vibe is the thing. Well, Jason is, uh, yeah, you you are Chaney. How does that, yeah. is that like uh, a common name? Also, what type of Asian are you? Let's tell the people. I'm a Taiwanese independent uh, if you're Chinese, I love you. If you, if you, you know, whatever, however you feel, this oh, love. Oh, because I got love. a bunch of st- uh, questions about how much you hate China. I hate them. <laughs> but, honestly, but love is love, though. I, I have love is love, <laughs> unless you're China. <laughs> the whole country, the or whole like country. Ed, individual. Yeah, you don't narrow no. it down. Individuals, you're you're cool with Chinese people. Yeah, if they come in one individuals. Yeah, but collectively. Collectively, anything Some over the worst. two. Like even if you're two, then I'm like I don't know. That's one little right. too many. But I could warm up to that. A trio of Chinese. Too many. That's too many. Yeah. No. Yeah, they, <laughs> what do they? I have love they for really, everybody. they really don't like you guys either, though. Or they, they don't. No, it's more they don't respect you. 
Yeah. Um, it's a lack the, of respect. The lack of respect from the entire country of China. Yeah. And, uh, I, I don't know if I appreciate that. But but you know what? But I feel like most Asians who are in America, they yeah. don't really care about that because they're American they, and they want to be in America anyway. So they don't really have a strong. I mean, most Chinese Americans don't have a strong opinion about the Taiwanese. Yeah. But if you're in China, dictatorship? Or what it, is it? it? Is it a dictatorship or it's communism? Yeah, it's communism. Same thing. Same thing. Dictatorship. Yeah. Uh, author- <laughs> tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got a good old capitalistic uh, democracy over here. <laughs> Have you enjoyed it so far? Uh, I try to, you know what? It's like one of those things where you're just kind of like, you you, you you turn a blind eye. Is that is that the saying? Okay. Because yeah, it's a capitalistic democracy, but you just go, you know what? I'm just going to see the good and see the democracy i don't want to see the capitalism capitalism's pretty tough yeah and also amazon's nice amazon's it's bad. great it's, it's bad th- some of the worst some of the worst but i need toilet paper tomorrow That's what and i'm, I'm not leaving the crib no man bring it to the you know a shout out to reels you guys should sponsor me i've been wiping my ass with you for a while now <laughs> i think it's pam bamboo instead of it's saving the environment it is and it's also taking bamboo away from pandas which are china's main which are export. China's, yeah and so we're so actually working against working against yes. not the man but the chinese man the chinese man i don't yes. want to say the other there's a you know a word they don't like it's close to that chinese man chinese man um so yeah but i'm always fascinated by uh your background you know i'm I'm banging abroad that's Asian these days. Yeah, I was going to ask how... Uh, wait, wait, these days? <laughs> <laughs> Same girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to ask We're very much in it. love. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's super you cool, met her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's so but, awesome. Um, it, it is an interesting... Uh, it's funny, actually, because she's definitely an Asian person, but she's also, at the end of the day, just some chick from Central California, too. Dude, like, she was nice. born here. Yeah. Right? So, uh, because you were born... You get the best of both worlds. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. like you look like the thing that I would want. Sure. But inside, you're like we vibe. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And so uh, it's confusing for her, but really good for you. <laughs> it's great for me. Yeah. Because <laughs> she gets all my cultural references. Right. She understands. She likes Friends. I'm like, I like Friends. What are we talking about? Yeah. Rachel or Monica? What are we doing? Yeah. Um. But uh, it is. Yeah. But like, I've hung out with her family now. Um. And wow. It's the food. The food experiences are crazy different. Yeah. Um, they're cleaning their plates. I'm always like, we can give this to the dog, right? They're like, don't <laughs> look at the dog, actually. And take your fucking shoes off. Um, but it is... Uh, and then the family dynamics are crazy. Just like, what I don't know. I'm just a traditional broken American family. My parents mm. were divorced early. Like, we all love each other, but we're all kind of independent doing our own thing. Whereas, like, sometimes, like, I don't know if it's... It's actually typically any different culture i've been in a relationship with a mexican chick too and it's like their family is like tight um so how do you feel different from her family dynamic that you found different or uh yeah different like they're they they're like when they're together it's like they've got uh they're like a unit they're like a unit yeah Yeah, not to say it's funny because my family is a unit but we all like i think i'm a kind of a typical american family where we had divorced parents and we all kind of had our own upbringing in a way, even though we all experienced it together. I had my upbringing. My brother had his, my sister had hers. And when we're together, we're definitely family, but, but it's just different. It, it feels, didn't feel like a unit. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. So the divorce rate for Asians, uh, most Asian countries are five to 10%. Yeah, that's insane, right? That's insane. What is ours? Fifty? Isn't it over yeah, 50, over fifty? Right? Yeah, yeah, it's over fifty. And in Europe, it's way higher. It's like sixty-five, is seventy. It really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Most uh, bigger European countries is over sixty. Okay, it, it's more uh, normal for them to have a divorce and remarry. You know, three three times. Very common. Crazy. Yeah, but the thing with Asian culture, that doesn't mean we love each other more. I talk about this <laughs> in my cinema a little that's bit. Fair. Yeah, so it's just that like we. Uh, we need other people to believe that we're happy. Like the facade is the most important thing. Not the ha- not the happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if if one family member is fucking up, so so when you went and visit, it's probably like a short we're really good short burst. So it's like if you hang out for like an hour or two, yeah. we're great. 
but then stay a couple more hours, yeah. you will you will see and hear the yelling. Yeah. But then we're still together. We're close proximity yelling. Okay. But then what we get over it quick. That's funny. Because we can't have the divorce and have other people talk shit. Because her family just came. One of her sister just came to visit. She got a big family. One her sister just came to visit this past weekend. Yeah. First couple like twenty four to thirty six hours cooking. We're chilling. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. last day. We all went to Disneyland yesterday. Yeah. By the, like, hour, you know, halfway through, it was like, we're kind of done. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. we've, we, we kind of. You been, feel it. Yeah. And the energy is strong. Yeah. It's like, yeah, the yell, and then also they'll bring up the past. Because you, you, don't, you don't see each other too often. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But, it, yeah, but you bring up the past and it's really normal to be like, yeah, but you did this thing, remember? Yeah. And then now it's like, oh, you're going to bring up that thing? Okay, let's not talk. And But you're still together because, you know. You you made the commitment of three to four days being it's, together. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Er, it's early commit, and then yeah, it's it's funny to observe it. Um, it's funny to observe any any different culture is always exciting to me to kind of dive into, and it's nice to be able to share that through somebody that you love and care about. Like I I care about her in, in a, a great way, so then I care about the family too. So then I'm trying to get the, the family to be on my side. They fuck with me because one thing I've realized about she's Vietnamese, mm-hmm. they they're loyal. They're loyal. They're yeah. loyal. They they also uh, are pretty spicy and aggressive. Uh yes. And, and I think spicy, this, aggressive, loyal as fuck. Loyal as fuck. Yes. But it comes it comes with it though. Yeah. Because it the, full package. Full package. Yeah. But loyalty comes with the spicy. <laughs> yeah. There's no loyalty if you're not you know if if you didn't slice your family one time with like a kitchen knife. Oh, the shit I mean? that's just like she won't say anything. Like she's never said anything that's like crazy like i wouldn't even call it disrespectful but the way that when she's angry at me yeah it's like oh my god oh oh you felt what have it. i done <laughs> who have i hurt <laughs> like what and then you're like what the fuck did i do and it's right. never that big but also it's, it's big. big to them it's big to them yeah but then but then usually you know uh like whenever you guys get back together there's always oh. like a, my bad and then it's like the uh, sex is great. It's gr- oh, come on. Now. The makeup sex it's is all great. spicy. The it's all personality spicy. spicy. The bedroom yeah. spicy. It's all That's spicy. That's both roles. Yeah. Right? A lot of paprika. <laughs> a lot of sriracha. Yeah. Just heavy spice. A lot of spices I've never heard of. Right. From the, you know, the fish sauce is uh, well known in the Vietnamese. I, I've done uh, a couple of Vietnamese spots with her. Pho obviously is the big thing. Right. Um, Are you big? Like you, no, you're pretty I open. Don't. I'm not a big fuck. Yeah, I'm open to what? You're open to like exploring food things. Yeah. Because we went eating a couple times. Yeah. And one time it was like this, uh, like this fusion a uh, bar spot. Yeah. And then I mean that wasn't what I, the late night spot. Yeah, the late night spot. That was interesting. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. Good. It wasn't too far off of you think, but I just feel like the way you were trying out stuff and the way you're reacting to things, it didn't seem like you were closed off on trying new shit. Uh, it's funny because growing up I was like chicken tenders ranch you know right. what i mean like i was kind of picky but i've right. definitely like um i like definitely putting myself outside of my comfort zone to kind of see i will also like look at certain dishes and be like it's hard definitely out for not me. that yeah but like even i've been to like ethiopia before right. i went to ethiopia for like 10 days and um that was a lot right i don't know if you've ever eaten ethiopian food i have but that was like i had to like really just be open to everything i was i had a whole fish that they had just caught they like it was just a dead fish that was cooked in a way on a plate and i was like i never seen this well when you said dead fish what does that mean like a fish that they they cooked but like you can see the head the tail was attached right it was just a full fish on that's very common in uh, asian culture i've never seen that sometimes in um japanese or actually all of the asian cuisines they will want the fish tail to be still moving okay and the fish eyes still like Really? Okay, that I made that part. Is it? Up. But <laughs> oh but the t- God. but the tail they part. They want them to be talking. <laughs> yeah, they would like they to want communicate to with the fish before yeah. consuming. They want the. Fish they want to consent. <laughs> they want consent. Yeah. What can you say? Um, but well, that's a way to show the uh, customers how fresh this fish is. Honestly, yeah, I get that because it's like, yo, this shit just came out of the water. That <laughs> is like, it's a nice thing because here in America, you don't know when the fuck that fish got out of the water. That's what I'm saying. So sometimes yeah. they'll even leave a fish tank just for the fish head to let, and then oof. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's a hard out on that. <laughs> My god. I'm like, Jesus That's how fresh god. it is. The, yeah. The you know what's funny is I'm so not familiar with, I've never been to Asia at all. I've right. been to like Europe and I've been to Africa now. 
uh, Mexico a couple times, all that shit. But I've never traveled to Asia, so I'm very out of. I don't know. I if you could tell me anything, I could tell you, yeah, you and, I'd be like, damn, Beijing's like hitting like that, dude. That's wild, bro. So avoid Shanghai in the summer to not see fish talk to you in the streets. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Yeah, I could totally see you do like a traveling. Do you know what I mean like sports, food, man on the street? I would guy. love to do that, dude. We need you. I know. We need you all over the world, man. Dude, we should start just hitting restaurants and doing. You should. You should be hitting. Start, yeah. Not I mean, that I don't want to go hard out. Jason's like, you should do that. Actually, <laughs> not maybe just do that. No, solo. because I, I, I lived over there, so it's like I, oh, I like can't. going to Asia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Me I like can't. fish out of water. You exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I think, and you have a, like a really American vibe so then i think yeah. people people could see themselves in you <laughs> i do i do it's funny i didn't i didn't never realize that about myself till i went to europe and did a bunch of shows yeah. i did like uh paris and london and um i remember getting up on stage the first time and first of all the first thing i said to this one french uh comedian i was getting up on stage i was like i'm about to do this joke but i I want to do a reference about Tom Cruise. You think that the crowd will understand the Tom Cruise reference? He yeah. was like, you don't think that people in Paris know who Tom Cruise is? And yeah, I was like, yeah. that is the very American perspective of me to say. I'm like, this is our guy. You probably have no idea who this dude is, but yeah. he's cooking. Yeah. Um, so that's, and then I got up for like a, I probably did like six or seven shows in Paris and um, English speaking shows, right? So like the people right. there understood what yeah, I was saying, expats. but like, I definitely leaned into as the week went on. I leaned into how American I was, mm -hmm. and it just crushed, crushed yeah. because I think they saw me through the lens of I don't think a I don't think a dumb American as much as like a typical American. I have a yeah. typical American perspective on a lot of shit. What dumb is definitely the underlying tip within yeah, the typical. I like to for them, right? I'd yeah. like to think that if they hear me and they talk to me, I'm not a, a oh dumb, no 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 no. But no. I feel what right. you're saying, and also like. I'm not the smartest though, and I am. <laughs> I am. I'm yeah. definitely. I definitely see things through the lens of my dumb Midwest American perspective a lot. Right, but if people know you, like if they talk to you for over, you know, a couple minutes, they'll know that you got depth. I want to know more about it. Right, right, right. right. Like depth and open mindedness. Yeah, both. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, look at this. You know some stuff, man. I, I'm very. You know, because when I when I met you, I was like, he's 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 a dumb guy. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> And then I'm just joking. Did you figure me joking. out though? Well, I don't know. I do think that a lot of people probably, I think that people, when they get to know me, are sometimes I, I don't know if shocked is the right word, but like, um, it's a pleasant surprise that I, yeah, that there's more going on. There's more going on than just right. how I present myself on stage. But the me. package doesn't say that. Like yeah. the ingredients. If you turn the box around yes. and read your shit, nothing's on it. No. This dude but is, then when you open it yeah. up, you see a bunch of right. Shit. The yeah, back yeah, of the yeah. package says the ingredients to make Bud Light, and that's <laughs> it. That's who this dude is. Uh, and it's like, no, I got a little bit more. I got some yeah. fucking tangerine in there. I tangerine. got some other things. Yeah, and uh, you, you actually do know a lot about like history, and uh, yeah. and you actually dive deep into things that, yeah, you know, into history, and that's um, I think that's the first sign of intelligence. Yeah, true. That is, is that something you do? Do you, no, do you I'm, I'm a retard. Are, yeah, I, and yeah. I've, and that's funny because I thought the opposite. I <laughs> thought this dude is deep. <laughs> this guy is, here's an intellect. I'm the opposite. Here's a guy right. that kind of uses the brain. Right. A no. lot of comics, and then you get to know you, you're like, yeah. oh, this dude's really backpedaling. Really? <laughs> He's really regressing. Uh, I'm sure, honestly, I'm sure just based on what I know about Asian culture, your family is disappointed. It's very disappointed. And uh, by the way, you got a doctor or anything in your family? Uh no we what my you cousin, were supposed to be more than this I'm though. supposed to be more than this <laughs> yeah but uh but I just I think so when when we're saying about the packaging yeah my thing outside if I don't talk people was like yeah he's like a you know average good at math good at math average yeah. Asian guy sure that's why I, I try not to talk too much because I started talking they're like oh my god like yeah. this is the broken one. It's better out to be Asia. thought of as a smart Asian person exactly. than open your mouth exactly. and remove doubt. So stand-up comedy isn't really, uh, you know, the best thing <laughs> to do for me. But um, how shocked? Because yeah, that that's another thing. Like disappoint. I I remember telling my dad uh, that I was trying to do this. He was like, "That's cool as hell. Do it." You know oh, what I mean? So like, cool. I mean, he loves like entertain. He was definitely never like opposed to it, right? And then my mom yeah. was more tepid because she's my mother, and she'll be like. She worries 
just based on what she knows, she's like, it seems like a lonely thing. There's not money in it. Like, are you okay? Like, she worries, but she is is cool with it. But she that's said kind it of, seems like a lonely thing. Yeah, which it is. It can be. Yeah, but that's that's so that's very uh, specific, and she's really right about it. Yeah, she's, but normally people don't think that. Yeah, I don't think. Well, I remember she saw this dude uh, coming out of. I was working like a D room, let's call it, mm. in uh, Scottsdale when I was coming up in Phoenix. And it was like one of those, like, you do a showcase weekend and then there might be one headliner came in from L.A. or whatever, but they paid him, you know, they paid him for lodging and maybe 50 bucks or gas money. Yeah. And I remember her watching that dude at the end of the night after the show that we did, like kind of packing his car up. He's got an old fucking Toyota Tercel. He's packing his life into the trunk. Jesus and he's Christ. just, yeah, it's like, I remember she observed that and she was like, you know, this seems like a tough uh, career that you're seeking because yeah. that dude's the headliner for the night. Like he's <laughs> he seems like he's gonna fucking end the, it tonight. The guy and, that's and sleeping in the car, yeah, like is headlining, right? And so she's observ she's observing things like that. I think yeah. that's where she gets concerned. That's really intuitive. But um, on your the flip side for your like fan, obviously this is generalizing Asians in general. But I know that they they put a lot of pressure. It seems like on. Um, and I just watched a season, sorry, Master of None, too, so it's like fresh in my mind. They talk a lot about the cultural stuff. He talks about his family in that. His buddy is, uh, I believe, Chinese in that show, and his family's pressure just to be something. And it's like, I don't know, is that still typical for, for what you Yeah, definitely. I think that's always so, it's, from the beginning of time till now, It's they just wanted to... They just wanted their offspring to bet on something safe and something practical. Yeah. Because uh, happiness and endeavor is never the priority. Like it's never. It, yeah. Honestly, now thinking back, yeah, I was thinking about this. Really, happiness. I had to learn what happiness is. I think I just learned about it, maybe like starting seven years ago. Damn. Because when people are like, you know, this is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm 32 now, so it's like I'm learning what it is, and now I get to, you know, try to... St I'm still trying to fine-tune how happiness feels, but okay. before, it wasn't even, like, a topic. Yeah. It wasn't, like, pursuit of happiness, yeah, nothing. pursuit of happiness is in our Declaration of Independence. Right? <laughs> it's like, we're literally... That's a goal of ours. And yeah. uh, it is weird, yeah, because... What you're you were just trying to be? What would what would the term be then? Do you think your parents I, or your culture was trying to tell you to do? Is just work uh, practicality, practicality and productivity. I think productivity is what the the motto. Like here yeah. is pursuit of happiness. Right over in China, especially and uh, most Asian countries, is productivity. Yeah, except Filipino culture because they're Filipino and Vietnamese. I feel like they're a little more laid back. Yeah, uh, and Thai some Thai culture, but Japanese, Korean, Chinese, you know, Taiwanese. The uh, those cultures are very uh, product product productivity. Yeah, driven. Which is funny that our culture is the pursuit of happiness, but it's really a facade as well, right? They yeah. tell you it's, it's pursue happiness, but it's also right. like, yo, if you don't have a fucking nine to five and you're not putting something out there on the table, you're going to yeah. be miserable and shit like that. It's like it's really work is yeah. the connection to happiness is what we've our society's kind of tricked us into thinking. I mean, you got to all we're all working two jobs and shit like that. I think that's why they um, the suicide rate in J Japan is the highest. I'm not trying to make it a term, but. Because in America, it's like having the carrot in front of you and dangle it and say, this is happiness. Yeah. And so in America, there's like hope. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm going to get it. But in China, it's like, in Asia, it's like, we're all going to be sad. There's no happiness. But, you know, so find something within your family. I think that's why the family is In Japan more specifically, you think is, I don't know anything about, I heard, I think Japanese culture seems so cool from the outside looking in. But yeah, it is super cool. I, I was talking to my friend yesterday about Japan, like the spectrum. You know how because they their porn, their porn is very and there's so many like they have hentai, which is like they have octopus pussy Bro. things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like so, the animated shit. Too? Exactly. What Anime is that? porn. I had a dude who gave me a whole book. I was just in Austin and he had in the uh, room that he had like the guest room. He put that in there as a joke. But I was like, dude, I looked in. I've never seen a book. like that. I was like, every page is just. But did you get hard, though? I no? did. I don't. It doesn't do anything did for it, me. It didn't tickle. I'd have to like 
probably really dive into it. But no, I was like really intri- I was just intrigued by it because this is crazy to me that people are probably J O into this. Yeah. And like they're turning pages. They are. It's a thick novel. Like how do you even keep the thing open? I think it's because it, Japanese culture is so Japanese the, the whole country and the culture, the spectrum is so uh broad and yeah. so specific. Like what I mean by that is they have things where they have sexual things where they hire women to shit on a plate so the guys could eat it. But I don't want to paint them in like <laughs> and, and then you get to pick which girl, right? To to want to shit on the plate. This and is eat it. is this legal? This is legal. And then the men who are eating it, they're not like in a scrubby t shirt. They're like in suits. Like it's expensive, okay? But I don't want to paint Japan as this like weird place. You can film that and like probably yeah, it's probably in the internet. That's crazy. I don't I, wait, wait. I I think it's some of the yeah some of the I'm sure that's leak, on the internet. But they also but their whole culture, the general culture, is very proper, very polite, and they they're in the culture where it's like don't even show ankles, like just just yeah. ankles, you know, in the kimonos, yeah, yeah. like they're probably and then in suits, in like women are very respectful and no no physical touch like at all you think that's why they go to the nth degree when they that's really get saying. freaky yes oh. so so but but everything else in between though like i'm just giving the extreme examples yeah but i <laughs> don't show angles but also eat also their <laughs> shit <laughs> whoa dude their shit, that's bro. a whole 360 right there yeah that's wild yeah so i think is you know the whole culture is really conservative but here um you know i feel like it's funny, we think we're way open minded too, but then you go to Europe and it's like they're way more open minded than yeah, even we are. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I it think is, it's just more open, like people are it's it's okay to talk about. But yeah. in Japanese culture, like you don't talk about that. Yeah. So then in the your privacy culture. of your own home you do that freak shit. You do that freaky shit. Eating poop is uh something I hadn't heard about. That's a whole thing. That's crazy. Yeah. So for it to be a whole thing is also insane. Um but good for them. I mean, you get your hey, get your rocks off where you can, that's what I always say. Yeah. Um, are you into the human shit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, what not. was your Taiwan? Now, you were born and raised there. Or not raised there. You were born there, though, right? I was 14. Oh, 14. Yeah, 14 oh, that's, so high. That's pretty, that's pretty formative, though. That is a little bit. But like, I would also a, say once you got here at 14, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's really when I think your brain starts forming forming yeah yeah so uh, and i also tried really hard i wanted to assimilate into the american culture because back so you dove deep dove deep because they they didn't want it's not cool to have an accent i mean i still have some but uh i haven't noticed it at all what i know i hear it every day <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm actually doing subtitles over this for everybody <laughs> nobody understands anything you're saying <laughs> what the hell man <laughs> that's my favorite thing <laughs> um you know, you know, the, the, I, I've seen a couple of comics do the thing where that just reminded me of when you said that the subtitle thing. It's it's a common thing where they watch like an Asian film and yeah. it's always like, oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that is a big thing. Yeah, that was a big thing. It was a big thing. I feel yeah, like, like now, the nineties, yeah, early 2000s. Do you do you watch movies with? Like, if, do you uh, you watch foreign films? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I've heard it's good, I'll watch any film, really. Okay, but do you put on the? Do you read the subtitles or do you uh, listen? To oh, the yeah, dub? I would rather read. Yeah, because yeah. of the nuance. Yeah, because yes, one hundred percent. I wouldn't want to, like Squid Games. I actually was angry because I watched like half of it before somebody told me they were like, "Oh, you could do." Um, like what I it was automatically gave me the English the dub English one, thing, yeah, oh, and I man. didn't know that you could not do that. I thought that that was how they f- gave it to oh, us in America. I see, I see. And I was like, oh damn, I would uh, that was I hated that. Yeah, because then you're hearing the voices. Because I would much rather hear the individual's voice right. and the, the nuance of the inflection that exactly, they're using and man. shit like that. Like that yeah. matters so much because even when you're reading the words. You can feel the emotion behind the actor. Yes. Because then I don't want a voice actor. A voice actor is probably not justifying what's no. really going on. Yeah. So yeah. I do that a lot. I watched, uh, do you ever watch the show Dark? It's all German. No, what, what was it's that good. about? It's just about time travel. It's pretty crazy. They, you go into some cave, you could travel back 33 years. But then when you go into that cave in this town in Germany, um, they go back in time. The, in, the first individual does, and they're lost and whatever. What the father finds out is they went back 33 years 
and then they go back 33 years and it's not how it is so then they go back another 33 and then it's one of those like crazy time things oh. and it was actually kind of exhausting by the end but doing that with subtitles i was by the season three i was like i don't actually know what's going on yeah this might as well be french <laughs> um but i, feel I like watched the, that one the first one the first one that tripped me out with not necessarily the time thing but inception uh-huh. was like that movie was the first i feel like for me at least like there's the layers within the layer within yes. the layer yes and i feel like after that rick and morty the the popular ones like Rick and Morty was the one Wait, that what was did like Rick and Morty I only watched like one or two episodes of Rick and Morty I couldn't oh, get great. into I it I think you would love it people tell me I would love it yeah I don't I, I can't do cartoons I don't know oh, okay what the writing is really good and the concept of you know like time and space and shit yeah uh, but that just reminded me because you mentioned that you know the, to go back in time and in time Ta- Inception's like crazy too when you really start thinking about yeah. the time travel shit, you're like, this is... This is too much. Because the, the thing that always trips you out is like when you go back in time and then it's the butterfly effect. If you change one thing, it changes potentially it's, everything. Yeah. And then it's like, all right, I'm Have out. you seen Flash? The n- No, I heard it was really bad. Really? Did you like it? I liked it. Honestly, I don't know. That guy's so fucking... I also can separate the man from the... The actor from that the man, that yeah. that dude seems like he's going through some shit. I was like, I don't know if I can get behind this dude. He kidnapped a family, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, this is my favorite thing about you. You don't know. I you don't, don't know do any, any further research. Nah. You did, yeah, because you posted something about Jackie Chan with that girl one time. Yeah. And I, I messaged you. I was like, thing? that's not even yeah, his daughter. I was like, he actually, his daughter's know. a lesbian, and he resents her. And China oh, won't fuck. let him communicate with yeah, her. I think, yeah, I got one. Oh, that was who I Okay. Yeah, I was like, but also that... I fucking love Jackie Chan. Yeah. And I didn't know any of that. You fucking lie to us, man. I know. How could I mean, he? I don't know. Isn't he? He's it's kind actor. of like he's deep in the government shit. I'm sure he has connections in the government where they've probably told him, like, you're good for life as long as you do these things. Do these things. And he's like 70 now. I'm like, he's probably got broken ankles and shit. How crazy is that, though? I like, know. Like, to be in the China system, the Illuminati of, of the East. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Damn. I want to travel over there, really dive in. Well, which one is scarier, being in an Illuminati here or Illuminati in the East, you know? <sighs> Ooh, that is interesting because... Because here you get shunned and then maybe they, they say you, like, fucked one kid. I know. Do you know what I mean? But over well, there, over it's Well, over there, like, it's just you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. I actually think it's probably worse here because of the way that they can ruin your life. In China, you will die. You will die, but you go to heaven, maybe. Right. Do you know what I mean? Which, but, then here, but here, it's like you get tortured they're while you're fucking, alive. Yeah, right. Like Epstein did his shit. He was Illuminati. He, I don't think he made it to heaven. Um, also, <laughs> I'd like to think that I think if you do sell no? your soul to the Illuminati, I don't think heaven's in the cards. You, but if you do get you fucked don't, over by you them, you don't think Epstein's got a tape of Jesus? <laughs> Epi boy, yeah, he's probably got leverage on Jesus, dude. That actually is a great <laughs> point. Say. He's like, dude, <laughs> I saw you fucking. You know, one of those wise men at the da- dinner table's twelve year old boy. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that fucking inappropriate thing you dig with your fucking balls and you showed everybody? That the kid was twelve. <laughs> um <laughs> Judas was thirteen. You tried to fuck him. That's why he killed you. Um But I uh but that is that's an interesting one. But yeah, in in America and the Illuminati here that we have, the Western civilization yeah. one, they'll just ruin your life. You ruin but it, you man. will be alive. And then when you die, your your name is tarnished. It's tarnished. So huh. you definitely go to hell. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But but then uh, you know the people that, like, of the people in my life that are going to heaven, dude, hell seems way more fun. Yeah, it does seem that way because the people that's going to hell, I feel like They're they party. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think my dad's down there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see I don't know. He was a good salesman, though. He could have finessed his way in. He finessed his way into the Playboy Mansion one time, so who am I to say he couldn't get in pearly gates? I, I think good salesmen are all going to hell, man. <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. too. If, if you're a good, good enough salesman, <laughs> you are going to hell. Right. If you, if you tried entrepreneurship and then you failed, yeah. you're going to heaven. Right. Yeah, That's but if true. you were successful, you definitely going to hell. And then you get to hell, and they're yeah. like, "I heard you once tell a guy you could sell a snowball in hell." Here you <laughs> are. I, that's a really, that's a really good point that uh, that that you made. That hell is probably more fun. Oh I, yeah, I, I haven't heard anybody say that. Oh yeah, that, hell that's a great a premise. Time. You talk about that. Yeah, that's funny. I think, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, because the people that I know that are just God fearing people, those are some. It's just I mean, boring, dude. Yeah, they're fucking missionary. And the inside is like you probably got some 
hopes and fantasies too that you want to live out oh yeah but you're just not doing it because you want to go to heaven yeah they would never be so open-minded as i am with other cultures that's what i'm saying but they fear god <laughs> yeah i fear god yeah i'm still out here fucking taking chances do i don't know if i fear god i always think that my my big belief is that god lives within all of us we're all god okay the ex- the internal struggle that was occurring when human beings were like that when we created the idea of self yeah. Whenever that was with our evolution, when the brain was like, yo, bro, self, like right. the third eye type thing. Yeah. That is something that actually occurred in our brain. So then you get that. Imagine like just chilling under the stars for like, I don't know, fucking 50 years. Every night you're just looking up at the stars. You don't have TV. You don't have fucking radio. You don't have anything. Yeah. So you create these stories. And in those stories, I think that the internal struggle was was communicated through like heaven and hell devil and god mm. and then that was the that w- it really the bible and like most religions are just the best story that we had come up with at the time a yeah. lot of st- probably a lot of dog shit stories before that yeah but they kind of chiseled away and now it's a good one. a lot of rough drafts got right. to the final edit yeah. which is the king james bible mm-hmm. they, they they worked it out they yeah worked it out. they worked the kinks out they were like yeah. dude i don't see the character arc here um, I actually don't understand why Mary's a virgin, but we'll let it slide if you can kind of develop that a little bit more. But you're telling me Joe didn't know? Yeah. Joe had no questions when this bitch got knocked up. Okay. Yeah. You're making Joe look like a bitch, but if you can get the three wise men in there to kind of communicate what the story is, sure, I'll roll with it. You think they pu- when they published their first Bible, you think you think that was the one? I, you think they like they're like, yeah, we'll buy it, you know? The first printed Bible? That's interesting. Yeah, the first printed Bible. That's a crazy thing to think about. To, I don't know. to publish it for like the rest of the people, you think they were like, you th- whoever pitched it, pitched the Bible, was like, hey, I think this is a good story for the thing. You think they're like, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll invest, like, we'll get, we'll, we we'll won't green light this, but we'll give you like $500,000 to like work on it some more. To hire you as a you writer. Think somebody's throwing half a mil around back then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, back then they were using what? <laughs> what rocks? What? What? Yeah, what's the currency? Several shells. Several shells. I'll several give you some sh- shells. Some yeah, shillings. I'll give you some sea sh- shells. I've heard of shillings. Shillings. Yeah. We'll give you like some shillings to yeah. you know do the writing and things. Silver. Yeah. I don't know. Dude, that's crazy out. to think about. Like the final edit, the dude that like was the dude that was like, all right, I think we're good. Right. There was definitely a dude that was like. There's too many books. Who's gonna buy a book this long? Yeah, it's a long book. Let's cut these these this part out, this part out. Right. And it's like, you know, Jesus really his whole teenage years and twenties are not even in there. It's like he went thirteen to like thirty three. He just right. pulled back up and they're like, We should kill him. <laughs> um and he had learned how to walk on water. <laughs> He's fucking turning to fucking bread and fish into shit. He's like, dude, get this, feed yourselves. <laughs> and then uh they but they skipped like twenty years of his life in the Bible. But there was a dude that was like, "This is too. This is too long. This is boring. Like nobody's gonna read through the whole yeah, thing if you right. if you're gonna talk about what that. if we do and hear me out here. Yeah, time lapse. Time lapse. <laughs> what if we do a montage shot? They do the, that was the first montage shot. It was one of those with its a corny a corny uh, <laughs> music track going on over it. It's just fucking amazing grace but it's just cuts of him through like fucking some bitch in his 17 he's getting chlamydia the first time <laughs> all that stuff turning 20 <laughs> drinking with the boys turning water the first time he turned water to wine yeah. just like quick cuts they should have the secret bible and then that should be where jesus is 13 to however that'd be long. a fun movie yeah <laughs> jesus what happened to jc 13 to JC 33 <laughs> 33. They should make a fucking TV show. And it's show just a it. fucking romantic comedy. It's just him finding himself, but also finding <laughs> these hoes. Because yeah. I hope he didn't die a virgin, did he? That's probably in the Bible. <laughs> Hopefully he deserved to bust some nuts. That's yeah. for sure. Well, he's my favorite Jew. Jesus. Oh. Well, 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 how come he's your favorite? He's my number one. Uh, I mean, I don't think anybody's above him. Um, Spielberg. Nice. Spielberg's a close two. <laughs> and then Drake. And then it's a pretty f- deep fall. Wait, J- J- Drake's a Jew? Drake is Jewish, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, his mother's Jewish. You know, that defines Judaism, if your mother is Jewish. Yeah, I heard I heard that. Uh, and you got to get your dick cut off a little bit. Yeah. Uh, sure. Is your dick cut off? Yeah. So I'm almost Jewish. I'm Catholic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you actually Catholic? I was confirmed. confirmed. I haven't been to church in years, but that's the most Catholic thing you can do. To cut off the penis? No, to just not go to church. To anymore. not go to church. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like that's everybody. Every time I meet somebody who is 
uh who's catholic yeah is always like yeah i'm not catholic anymore hard out hard out i mean that's i do that joke too on stage is like the uh there's nobody's 19 and catholic uh, like that's not a thing like it doesn't exist like you yeah. just turn 18 and you're like that was fucking weird because <laughs> yeah. it's like also you went through it like it was like i'm not revisiting this every sunday bro every catholic person is like they they broke out of the thing and they they're trying to fucking just live their life and but the nice thing is it's not it's actually that is in society it's kind of accepted as that's normal whereas like if you're mormon you do the same thing a lot but you usually go back but like a jack mormon they'll like fucking peace out right but um but they're like completely like shunned in their church and shit like that. It's crazy. Catholics are like, yeah, good for you. Go do your thing. That was weird what we did. We were just trying to teach you discipline. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's all that religion really is, I think, at any point. I think religion really was like this thing where people were acting reckless, in my yeah. opinion, that when it started to go back to like the origins of it. Uh, there was a dude that, that was sense. like, dude, he keeps raping women. <laughs> and this other dude was like, dude, what if we tell him that if he keeps doing that he'll go like to the worst place imaginable yeah like fiery fucking like like lava pits and shit right like you're really threatening something that doesn't exist right but but you're like if you keep acting like that right you go to the worst place ever because prison he kept going out of prison and raping again yeah also small town shit you could break out of that how good were those prisons back then probably just cracking through a mud wall but 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 catholicism also was known for people who touched the boys. Now it is. Now it is. Well, we probably were doing it back then. No, no. I'm sure. First of all, everybody was fucking boys back then. Dude. Aristotle oh, was fucking boys. Uh, back then. Aristotle was fucking yeah, boys. Most of the smartest. Arist- yeah, like the there's like was evidence. That a thing? That, yeah, there's hard evidence. I don't know. Okay. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all <laughs> it's hearsay. It's hearsay. Okay. Uh, but what was it? Can, can I, I? There's a lot of bad, uh, very, very respected people that were like known to have pr- very clearly been uh but i i pedophiles. never understood why uh people like to be with little boys like fuck them i know i agree like what is the thinking like because i'm just curious dude i just spent i was in disneyland yesterday with my girlfriend her sister has a 14 year old daughter that came with us with her little boyfriend 14 yeah fuck these kids and i'm not saying fuck them i'm saying fuck get away yeah, from that's me. what i'm saying, you know what I'm saying? these kids yeah, suck yeah I would not, you know, I, mean, I wouldn't even hang out with you, let alone fuck you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They kids smell. Suck. Yeah. They, and then they're, they're dumb. They're, I'll tell you what they are. They're disrespectful. They're disres- <laughs> they don't deserve this dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, wonder what I, I mean, back in the day, it was like, yeah, they were just fucking little boys a lot. But even now, but you think the pedophile now is sad? Because they don't get to, you know, do it as often as, you know, like maybe 100 or 50, 100 years ago. Yeah, it's a tough time to be a pedophile now. It's the worst time right? in history. The worst time yeah, it used to be everywhere. way easier. It used to be way easier to do everything, though. Up until like 25, six, like 30 years ago, you could have honestly fucking vision boarded being a serial killer and worked that out. Do the thing. Up until then, like 98. Yeah. Up until that show CSI came out, I'm pretty sure. You could, you still could just be doing it. Yeah. Um. You know, obviously, video cameras getting better. That shit hurt. But like, I mean, Dahmer was like ninety one. Bro, and he got caught because he got fucking. He was. You got. You get sloppy. You get sloppy, and also the technology got better. And I was googling this statistic, and I if I was like shocked. Like half of the murder cases don't get solved. Currently, still. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, half. And um, well, a lot of them are like, I I don't know what the proportion is, so I don't want to be like generalizing, but I'm sure there's a lot of like street crimes or like there's probably a lot of gang violence still in gang cities violence. like L. A., sure. Chicago, sure, shit like that, yeah. where those are notoriously not going to get solved because nobody's talking, right? Nobody's That's like talking. a thing. Yeah, but that and also, uh, what was another statistic that I saw that was like what? Um, but yeah, anyways, well, I always think on the murders not getting solved. It is funny. Like we, you know, and I'm God bless cops, but these guys kind of suck at their job. You got one job. I solve the crime. Bro, if I, we were hitting it a 50% clip, dude. I mean, unless I'm an NBA player shooting threes, that'd be a crazy good percentage. Right. But like if your success rate is like under 50%, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. It's like, 
what's happening? What are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. These and guys, it's like, but th- th- that's what you're supposed to do every day. And then you're like, maybe, yeah, you just your nine of like, there's a documentary where that chick, um, who was married to Patton Oswalt. She was a journalist and she was a, she loved, uh, I don't know if she was like a tr- first true crime podcaster, but she was like into true crime heavy. And so much so that she got obsessed with this dude, the, um, Golden State Killer, I believe, is the killer that she ended up getting obsessed with. He had potentially killed like 30, 40 people, right? And in the in the early, this is like within the last 10, 12 years, she ended up solving the crime on her own. Like she had a couple of people helping, but literally there was a cop that was, that's his only job was to solve that crime. This bitch yeah. was moonlighting. As a detective, she had an actual career as like a journalist and shit like that, or like an author. And at the end of the day, she's doing that. She's moonlighting as a detective solving a crime that has been a cold she's case for years. She has and a full-time the whole job. time she's fucking Patton Oswalt. That's a tough life. That's a th- Jesus Christ. You're at the end of this whole fucking 16 hour day, you got to bang that ratatouille? You letting him nut up in you? That's nuts. And uh, she solved the crime and then she died. Cancer. Damn. Or no, something like that. She didn't wake up one day. Probably stressed. Yeah, because it was too much. He wasn't relieving it. Yeah. God bless him, though. Um, I, I do. You, when you were a kid, because I remember I trust in the cops and the law so much when I was younger. Because okay. in the movies, it just seems like they just out here. They know shit that we don't. And they, they have like resources and they're just smarter and they know things. They're really well. Trained. Oh, I mean, everybody's smarter than you. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I'm saying they look that like they're buttoned up They're But yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying the people who that is not retarded. Yeah. Yeah. I look at them and yeah. then I go they're you know, um, but I, I trusted them. I I've, like even now past tense. Now you where are you at with them now? No, not, now is what you said. No. I feel like hey, if you, look, really if you want, want to talk shit about cops, dude, say what you, dude, like, uh, you hate cops, bro? Just tell America, dude. Hey, man, why would you, <laughs> why would you draw a circle? And do, why would you try to trap me, man? Is this a Taiwanese thing, bro? Why, why would you set a fucking bear trap for my <laughs> leg, I man? just talk shit about how bad they are at solving <laughs> crimes. <laughs> dude, <laughs> cop, dude, cops are the... the something <laughs> that you do, like, when you talk shit about something... It's like it's all fun. Like you can say crazy shit. <laughs> if I say the same thing, people will be like, "Yo, this yo, guy is a problem." Uh, what? He's a problem. We we let you into this country. Now you're talking shit about the authority figures, bro. Don't you go home, dog. Dude, I can't say the same thing you say, man. <laughs> I know. People I will be go, "This guy, this right guy's a problem." But yeah. you say shit, and people are like, "Ah, he's fucking around." <laughs> I don't say. I want to get a beer with this guy. I, hey, dude, cops, uh, cops, are, cops, kind of bad, dude. Cops are tough. It's a tough it's go so around. To also, cop, it sucks because I grew up with a bunch of cops. Yeah. Uh, they weren't cops My then, but they were like bad at school and they were like bad at sports. Yeah. And then if you talk shit about them, they'd hit you and shit like that. But they ended up being cops. They ended up being cops. Um, those are cops. <laughs> Shout out to Cincinnati. Um, you got an uncle that's a cop? Yeah. Here in America? No, in, in Taiwan. Oh, really? Yeah, what's in the, wild. the uh What's the cop like? Um, uh, perspective on cops there. honestly i think cops are the same everywhere it's just um yeah. like how how good your uniform looks from country <laughs> how to country good are yours huh are they clean over there in they're Taiwan? clean they're clean it's just really? that i don't know they it's blue just, or what color are they uh no i think they're black 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 or dark blue nice black or dark blue yeah blue's a nice yeah dark colors right right dark colors but i, I it's the same thing because i talked to my uncle about it and there's no way that any like people who has a job that has so much power over people's lives that there isn't corruption and yeah. it's so hard to get away from it you know and then if, yeah. you, if you try to like get away from that and not be in the you know in it I'll do a little bit of cocaine on tuesday right 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 and if you don't do that then it's like you're not in the thing and now you don't got friends now you have a, now you have a drinking problem you ever seen serpico now you beat your kids it's tough so, oh, he's the one yeah. that he called all the NYPD out, and they didn't like him. But <sighs> as portrayed through Al Pacino, it was a pretty beautiful film. But yeah, it's tough. I mean, you gotta. It's it's definitely a a job that I think it's the same in every country. W- w- is at least portrayed through like uh, media, or like uh, movies and shit. It's just like you're a good cop, and then you get corrupted, 
Yeah. And then That's it's always the same, same story. story. Yeah. Same, so you're same so everywhere. you have a corrupt uncle then. Is that what you're saying? I think he was the one that is like, man, I don't want to do this corrupt thing. <laughs> is he the one that rose above? No, but he he wasn't the one. He's not a snitch. Okay. So then he's like, but I also don't want to like fuck kids that's a tough that's a tough life yeah well, oh, the, so the the corruption over <laughs> there is them fucking kids <laughs> jesus christ i was like if i don't wanna... think that's the that's the, oh no you're, no the, oh. you're talking you're combining catholics with cops oh my bad yeah man. no catholic is a cop oh okay yeah they're christian boys yeah <laughs> that's why no there's probably some cops that are but then he kids. he like after transferred to the coast guard like he he just started. Oh fishing. really? He's <laughs> your uncle is McNulty in the wire. McNulty in the wire. That's crazy. <laughs> good for him, dude. A pure cop that's just trying to do good. He, to he do eventually good, sees that the system is not going to cooperate within his lines, and he's just going to go to the coast, go to the coast fish, fish, and then if there's a thing, uh, I'm he, there. Is he getting crabs and stuff? He's he, probably having a nice life. He has a nice life. Yeah. Yeah. He actually uh, maritime law they call that maritime law exactly. Yeah. So uh, do you go back and visit ever? Like you got an uncle there, like you going back and seeing him? Yeah, my 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 whole family still lives there. Uh, oh, really? Like my parents will visit. Yeah, my parents will visit here uh, every Wait, year. Wait, so you you live here? Your parents still live back there? Yeah, oh, but I, I didn't have know a sister. That. My sister lives in Orange Orange County. Interesting. So yeah. you, when you left at fourteen, you were by yourself. Yeah. Oh. So, so I, I came here I know alone in a boarding, a military style boarding I school. Were, I thought you were going to say in a box. In a I came bo- here alone in a box. This is is this the origin story of Jesus Christ, our <laughs> Lord and Savior? <laughs> I was on the river in a box. Um, you came here in a boarding school. Yeah, I came here to a boarding school. What year was this? It was uh oh two maybe. I I honestly forgot the. You're thing. 32, and you came here at 14. 14, eighth grade, ninth grade. So probably like was were when did 9/11 happen yet? No, I remember when 9/11 happened when I was in Taiwan. Oh, okay, so 0203. So 50, was 50 Cent uh, prominent when you moved here? Oh yeah. So when, <laughs> oh, I, when really? I first moved here, 50 Cent was the guy. Oh, so 03, 04 okay. maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. He was the guy. Wangster was popping. Oh, okay. So probably early, it might good. be late 03 then, 04. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. What a good time to be. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it was a great First time. First term Bush. Kind of <laughs> getting cooking, dude. The economy's like deteriorating, but we're fine. Hip hop is just talking about how to excessively spend money in every song, yeah. uh, which really is actually a mirror of what our society was doing at the time. So all I do is win, win, win. Um, a milli, a milli, all that type of stuff. So and it was then, good energy. Um, it was really good energy. It was good energy. It was a facade. It was a facade. <laughs> but it was good but energy. It was good energy yeah. uh, you know, in the front. Fat yeah. Joe was really doing his thing. That's and my a great first time. roommate was black, so he showed oh, me really? all the things from uh, America. From America, where, where, uh, where'd you move to when you came over? It's called Army and Navy Academy in Carlsbad. Oh my God, you were yeah. in Carlsbad. Oh, between that's not bad. That's you know what's funny is that actually is like real america when you get it's funny when you get outside of la or like outside of these cities in california it's kind of americana carlsbad is a little bit more of a resort town but like i'm sure what you were doing was like it wasn't terrible it was i really enjoyed it because it was i think for a lot of immigrants in the school being at home is way worse than being in (laughs) boarding school school with yeah with doing physical yeah things that's way easier that's because it's really normal for yeah, you you've heard it's like it's really normal for immigrant parents to like really fuck you up. Yeah. My my I have this bit of a while ago. I've heard your stand up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It sounds fun. But my 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 cousin would have bruises like in the back and I would feel better about mine. Yeah. Yeah, because his shit is fucked up. Well, at least like, you had really physical fuck touch. Up. My yeah, I, I had physical touch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> that's awesome. That's my. That I feel like that's all. Is that uh, your love language? Love physical language. touch. Physical touch. Yes, <laughs> yes. I, I I like it. <laughs> but our physical touch is just a little more pressure. <laughs> yeah. And then I didn't know you came over alone for some reason. I, came, I thought you assumed you came over with your family. No, that's two and a half years. Then they then then they, they did. Came. Yeah, oh, I okay, went cool. to a, a public school, Westview. Um and uh, that was that was nice. Was it yeah. a black dude that was like showing you like hip hop? Was he a hip hop fan too? Yeah, that's dope. That's a g- interesting. Well, I mean, you would have if you had a white dude, they would probably still into Fifty Cent too. Yeah. Um, but uh, feels more authentic from it was a, a lot black more American. authentic. Yeah. I was so excited. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know about the thing and. Are you still friends Russia with that dude? Was a thing. Um, or anybody from that area of your life? Yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple people that I will see like maybe once a year. Yeah, that's so what's nice. Up, but it's all love, you know. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we yeah we stay together, so it's like yeah. That's nice. We had sex a couple of times. Like, 
Yeah. Huh? What's up? <laughs> Excuse me. No. We did some cop shit. We together. did some cop what? stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, it's exciting that you've and then you started stand up here, which is so daunting too. I always think like English is a second language. People that start stand up is always that seems crazy because comedy is such a nuanced thing within our language. Um, but once you, I guess once you get cooking, you understand English. Yeah, you can kind of do it. But was that ever like something when you started off? Like you it was crazy. Sometimes I, I'm not. Some immigrants they still have a really thick accent. Yeah, and then they do stand up. Yeah, I don't think the nuance is necessary for stand up. Do you oh, know what I mean? that's okay. But I do love. What I love about stand up is the nuance. Like even yes. to enjoy yeah. is the character of the person yeah. and not really th- the jokes are great, it's fine, but it's the nuance that they do that's that intrigues me and interests me in yeah. stand up comedy, but I don't I don't think you have to know the nuance to do stand up, you know? <laughs> that's true. And I also think that sometimes your you understand uh I think your short I don't know, I don't even want to call your shortcomings within the language. But I know you say things sometimes I don't have that any make me f- f- laugh very much. The way you say things yeah. are how you say things, which I, lo- I love the, a stand-up that does that. Like, if you wrote a joke and then you gave me that joke written down and I said it, 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 yeah. it wouldn't work. I think the, the same, same thing, thing sometimes with my stand-up, too. Like, I don't. I think, I, to what you're saying, I can say shit. I don't know why, but That's I can what get I'm away with shit earlier. that people... I even think other white people can't say what I say. No. Like, no, yeah. I, no, I don't dude. know how I do it. I, I'm an immigrant, <laughs> and I can't fucking say what you say, dude. I I said, the other what night, is that? The other night, I, I walked up on stage, and I was like, where the honkies at? We got to stick yeah. together out here. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, but it's so yeah. out of... I think that I, is so crazy. I think I say shit so out of pocket that it's like, this is, this is wild, bro. But uh, uh, you know what I'm I'm killing lately is the, the black rooms, dude. I got, oh, I've been crack 'em ups fucks with me heavy now. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's good. And then uh, uh, yeah. just trying to get in all the black rooms in L.A. Yeah, the, I'll be the white dude that just crushed by Gary black. Owen. I'll, hey, you're the next. I'll take that. I'll fill that void. Come yeah. on now. No, no, but you, you're way more. Um, like you got way more tools in the toolbox than just to do that. But you are one of the few, if not the best white to do to kill a ba- to kill a black room in an authentic way i appreciate that yeah, yeah i'm not like because you see a lot of people go up in a, a black room or even like your show i opened for you in uh texas and it was yeah. it was i wouldn't say predominantly non-white but it was no the one in uh fort worth i think was like probably closer to 60 40 there was a lot of Asian There's a people. lot of Asians, yeah. It's yeah, definitely. You get a lot 50%. of Asian a- Asian and you people. Crush. And then I go with Martin Amini a lot. Yeah. Hit, dude, when I step on stage at Martin Amini shows, I am one of like five white people in the whole room. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And to your point, I've gotten the best compliment I get is some dude came up to me after one of Martin's shows and he was like, You should not have done well in this room. <laughs> yeah, I like, yeah. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's just uh I try to <laughs> never waiver i never try to pander to anybody or try to like i'm not getting up there and trying to be like oh here's my familiarity with asian culture and there's right. my joke that i package for you because of it yeah like, no, i'm gonna say what i'm gonna say right you might not like the first five minutes but once six seven minutes get in you're like oh this is who this guy is yeah wow boy yeah. you do you do the same really thing authentic you're yeah. you're one of the few comics that it's just uh, you just do you just do you, and it's very authentic, man. I appreciate that, and 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 it has no like weirdness Cause to it. It's weird because you do Joe Coy and Ronnie <laughs> Chang, and Dude, it's I am Joe Coy. Yeah, I am Joe Coy, man. <laughs> I'm Joe Coy. What you talking about, man? I w- w- we all just want to hey, be Joe Coy. You just want to do what works, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's like that's the, what I'm saying. And he showed us the blueprint. That's why what don't I'm we saying. just double up? Just double it up. Yeah, you're gonna be successful. That's, that's why I'm not gonna be successful. I'm like, what if I just did myself? <laughs> I'll just be broke and alone, like my mom has. Wish that I haven't been. Oh my god. Um, well, what? Uh, so find me on the socials. Yeah, Jason Cheney. Where where people find you? At? Please, uh, please follow me on the socials, Jason Cheney, C H E N Y. Yeah, C- not like not like Dick Cheney. Not He's got like an Dick extra Cheney. E in there. Yeah, exactly. Chen, it's like Chen with a Y. Yeah, Chen with a Y. And uh, you know, watch my stand up. Watch watch Mike. Yeah, you got a Don't Tell uh, set too. Yeah, I got it. Don't tell us that. I'm really last happy year, about so that. That was yeah. super funny. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. You're killing it on social, too. You've probably yeah, seen him already. Are. Yeah. Um, and then, exactly. unless you have uh, Asian Americans blocked off on Instagram and uh, TikTok, like so I do. So I actually never so seen So don't block it. it. Don't He's block not on it. my algo. Um, but 
Jason Channy, yeah, hit him up. I love you, man. Uh, I love you too, man. I appreciate you doing Thanks this. Thanks for having Super me, fun brother. always. Yeah. Um, and then I'll just book a one-way trip to Taiwan, to Taiwan. And then I'll just, can I shoot the footage your way? Can you edit that for me? Yeah, and FaceTime me. Okay. Yeah, I got you, brother. Yeah, just let me know where the fish are at. Okay, I'll let you know. Shout out to fish heads. Shout out to fish heads. All right, y'all. Peace. Let's.